Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In most of the cases, if you scan a part, for example, like the one on the screen, it's hard for the scanner to capture all the details at once. So what you need to do is to turn the partner around and then scan from a different position, for example, this one. In this way, you can cover all the details of the part that you need to do reverse engineering. Some of the software of the scanners already have these capabilities to put together all of the three scans, but some of them don't. So with the quick surface, you can actually do this also. I'm going to show you how you can do this. I have three scans of the same part from a different point of view. And for the ease of explanation, I will just put some colors on them. I will make this one red-ish. The other one, I will make it blue. This is just for you to understand the different parts. The way we can do this is by incrementally align one part to another and then complete our job. In order to do this, I will just hide the third one because I don't need it. I will select scan number two and we'll go to alignment and we'll use initially the interactive mode. I can just put it on the side. The reason I'm doing this is because I want roughly to position them into the same view orientation just for the easier of um, identifying how the, the part looks similar to, to the other. I will just rotate it, just the other rotation. And you can do this manually as long as you want. For example, in this case, I need to rotate also like this. My goal is so they just look similar as an orientation on the screen. And for this purpose, I my goal is just to create the same view. So you can just uh, using the controls like this one and this one and then the other one. So now I roughly see in the two objects on the screen like this one here. So what I'm going to do now is to use the endpoints align. Still I have my scan to select it. This means that this scan will move to everything else. I'll just go and pick the endpoints. Why I rotated it on the screen so I can see the correspondence points easier. And let me start doing this. For example, there is a little cross here. I'll pick my first point, which is roughly here. You don't need to be accurate, but you need to pick the same points on the two objects. One is here, and the other one is here. This process is very similar to the way you align to the cut model. In this case, this is our reference where everything will stay. And let's pick more points, for example, here and here. This is good enough, and I will just press preview. The software automatically will try to align, as you can see on the screen, it created this line. I will press OK, and I'm ready now with my rough alignment between our first scan. We will continue now with the scan number three. I'll show it on the screen. Again, with this scan selected, I will go and use the interactive mode, put it aside on the side, something like this. Then I probably need to rotate the object again in an orientation that it's more suitable for me to, to capture the same points on the two objects. So you just take these handles. And honestly, I'm good enough for now. I have everything that I need. I press OK. Now I will repeat the same procedure. We'll select my blue scan and we'll go to align by endpoint. I will do exactly the same. I will pick our correspondent points, both from the object that will be transformed and from the other object. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Just click something where it's visible. I pick this and have three points. Mathematically, three points are enough, but the more you get, the better and the more accurate initial alignment you will get. 
four points is good enough. They should be spread quite irregularly. Don't, don't pick them in a single line, so the alignment to work properly. And when I'm happy with this, I just press preview. I just wait a little bit until the software aligns everything. And this is what I got as a combined part. So I will just, at the moment, we'll select everything and we'll change the color to the default one. Sorry, click on this one, hold the shift key to select the three of them, right click and select set default color. Now, as you can see, the three parts are aligned together. In our next tutorial, we will learn how to create a best uh, single mesh out of this. Thank you for watching.